but currently in uh, New York City on location for the revitalization, the reformation of Iron Maiden, the man behind the drum kit. And frankly, sometimes you don't even know he's there until you see an arm go, whoa, like that, <laughs> blat, 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 <laughs> is this man here. But you're going to come to England soon. But first, you're oh, yeah. hang on, hang on. Well, you're not going to England. You're going to Europe. Hello, dear boy. Lovely to see you. Good afternoon. Always a pleasure. Oh, good evening. Good oh. evening. Good afternoon. Wherever you be. Yes, yes. Yeah. Nice. You're, you're not doing, doing England, are you? Not on this pit, no, we're, we're just doing like this mini kind of tour and uh, we thought, well, look, you know, when we go back to London, to, well, to London and England in general, hopefully we'll do a few more shows than just one gig like sure. we used to do. Uh, we want to go back with the new album and the, the, I mean, not that this tour isn't spectacular, it's not going to be anywhere as near spectacular as it is for next tour. And so we thought, well, we, we, we put it together reasonably quickly and... Uh, so it was decided just to do America and Europe and then come back, as I said, with a massive big show. And, uh, it's not a problem out. because everybody can go to Paris, they can go to Amsterdam. Well, there, and yeah. A load of Brits are going to do it, and you know That's it. right. Oh, yeah, well, I, think they, I think through the fan club they've arranged like buses and stuff and hotels for kids to go to, so uh, it should be a real good crack for that. Yeah, it's only, hey, plus you've got the Eurostar, two and a half, three hours you're there. Mm. And it's not major expensive, so That's hopefully we'll, you know, most of the audience will be Brits! Where, which camera's on? Uh, both of them. Oh, hello. There's another one over there. Have the third hello, one as well. Oh, no, like... he ain't. He's filming a bag. <laughs> no. now, what's it like being back on the road again? Oh, it's bloody, bloody awful, boys and girls. It really is. It's, it's pandemonium up there. It really is. No, it's lovely. It's, uh, it's a great... The greatest thing about it is that it feels as though we've just been kind of on a a sabbatical or a, a vacation, a holiday period. Mm. Although it was like almost... It was nine years since Adrian left the band and six since Bruce left, but it doesn't feel like that. And I think that's a good testimonial to the, to the vibe of the characters of each other, of the, of, 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 away from the music. And boys and girls, I know they're sitting there going, yeah, yeah, well, what happened when Bruce left the band? You will not give it some of that. And all well, yeah, there was a few angry words said, but, you know... Um, Time's the healer. Time is a great healer, and uh, you get a bit older, and in my case, a bit wiser. Um, and a better liar. <laughs> oh, thanks, TV. <laughs> and uh, anyway, no. Yeah, you know, and you, you, you put that aside, and, and it's just au naturel out there, it, it, and it's better than ever. It really feels so good to be back together, and um, I, I, again, I've got the best gig in the house because I've got the safest slot there, you see. I mean, you can't see me as long as you can hear me. That's the most amazing thing. It? And believe me, you can be heard. Tell us about the website. Because that's, oh. that is, I mean, it's, it's a major thing now, but it's also going to expand, I believe, into something even more major, ultimately. Yes, But sir. just tell us about it, because you know you're on it. The general vibe of the site is you've got Eddie's store, you can go in, you can buy it, order anything, he's got, like, his own mega store. Mm. I think what's going to happen as well later on, we'll all have our own little bits, like my video and stupid stuff that I do. You can find out where you can buy drumsticks, you can buy this, you can buy that. So, well, you know, it sounds like a salesman to sell stuff, but we, it's really a whole whole family of everything that Maiden's ever done. There's all the bios, there's pictures you've never seen before. You can, if you haven't got an album, for, for instance, say uh, somebody wants to get peace of mind, yeah. you know, they haven't got it for their particular collection, they want a vinyl, they can go in, they can probably find it, they can go in and connect with all these different guys, and uh, it's phenomenal. I, and of course, when we, we, we announced that the band were, were you know, the re, re not the, the reformation, yeah. if you like, um, which is, I think, what you said, there were like five million hits in the first week. Now that doesn't mean five million people went in, it's probably like one and a half million. Actually, and they stay in for an average of two hours in four or five different pages. So that's how the, you get the hits, meaning each turn, sure. each, each uh, uh, room that they open or whatever. But it's an absolutely phenomenal site. Wherever you are, wherever you're playing, whatever, when you've, when you've got a bit of downtime, Somebody answers all the questions. Exactly. In fact, I saw oh, Rod, Rod yes. Smallwood, manager, right? He was working on it just about an, half an hour ago. He does, just answering yes. questions. Yeah, he, he, he answers, uh, there's a lot of questions. Actually, he said to me, oh, bloody old Nick. He said, I've got more bloody questions than you get. I went, oh, please, you know, where's my 20%? <laughs>